y'all. Today, I'm gonna be doing a real quick review of a little awesome lure, I say awesome, it's expensive, expensive lure called the Cranker Crab. Most of y'all have already heard about the Cranker Crab, but we got it out here. We've been testing the sheep's head with, with fiddler crabs and everything else, and the sheep's head are here. So, you know, and they're pretty fired up. So we're gonna throw this Cranker Crab out there and do a review of it real quick. I'm gonna show y'all some cool footage of what it looks like underwater on the same rig, same setup, and uh, just talk to you a little bit about this lure. I mean, that's kind of one of them deals. It, it's a crab, right? So you don't want to just throw it out there and jig it back to you and retrieve back in. That, uh, that's not gonna work, you know, because that's not what a crab does. So what you want to kind of do is pitch it around these pilings, make sure that it's on the bottom, and just kind of twitch it from time to time. You know, those sheep's head are down around the bottom, around these pilings, and they are, they're looking for that crab, that little tiny movement of that crab for them to key in on. There he is. All right, the little guy. All right, number four, fish number three. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's embarrassing right there. That is pure plum embarrassing. Uh. Boom! Setup that I'm running this crank of crab on uh, is a seven foot medium uh, fast action rod running with 20 pound suffix 832 braid on 20 pound fluorocarbon leader tied on with a uni to uni knot and then an improvised clinch for the knot onto the lure um, so that's the setup that we're throwing this on if you want to get a crank of crab and, and use it um, this is a setup that i would recommend throwing Oh, yeah, she's here. 
got him out and open. We home free now. I hope it don't break me off. Man, he's choking too. Dang it. Might not get that back. Dang. Boy, that thing about freaking work me. All right, so not only did the Cracker Crab pick up the sheep's head, but it picked up this beautiful, beautiful redfish, probably sitting around 28 inches or so. And go ahead and put this guy back in the water. We're not keeping fish, but. Crank a crab. Got one nice redfish, and I'm telling you, that's surprising because if you've seen the crank of crabs, I mean, check these hooks out. I mean, these things are freaking tiny, but that redfish, I mean, he took it straight to the back of the throat. Uh, it was relatively easy to get out, thank God. I thought he had swallowed it, but yeah, I mean, Y'all seen that fight, hooks held up through it. So, I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? So we're gonna drop that down and try to pick up the targeted species of sheep's head. So see if we can't grab some. It's just slow twitches. Matter of fact, if my kayak starts drifting, then I'm not even gonna reposition. I'm just gonna kinda maybe make sure that drift is slow and uh, just, just walk it on the bottom, bouncing it around. There he is. He feels like he could be down. Not too decent. Thought it was a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can't get a boat flip on. All right, calm down, calm down. Obviously, that thing wasn't even close to being a good one. All right, so after spending the day out here throwing this crank of crap for a little while and uh, really kind of testing it out and seeing it, I mean, it's a heck of a lure. It really is. Um, these hooks being as small as they are they're extremely durable i mean you all y'all saw it catch that redfish uh several sheep's head and none of the hooks are bent um the hooks are on the claws so the claws flow so when that lure is on the bottom the claws are kind of moving around with the current well those sheep's head they're gonna you know grab on and, and kid on that kind of stuff and i mean it just the hook gets right dead in their mouth and um, the hookup ratio on this lure is pretty dang good. Um, with all of that being said, this lure is $20. So fishing sheep's head, you know you're fishing around pylons. You could lose that $20 lure very easily. Um, you know, and for $20, you can get five dozen fiddler crabs. So. And you're almost guaranteed, I was lucky that I didn't lose this, but you're almost guaranteed that you're going to lose it. Um, you know, 100 bucks, you can get five of these. So with that being said, would I? is it something that I would use to target sheep's head when I really wanted to go out and, 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 and catch a lot of them, maybe for food or maybe a tournament? Probably not, but I will say that, I mean, this joker, it's, it's fun, you know? Going out there and using a lure to target sheep's head, this was, I had a blast throwing this little guy and getting all the hookups that I did. Um, but that's the uh, crank a crab lure review as told by Southern Salt Kite Fishing Nathan Rich. If you would, hit that like button, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. God bless y'all, have a good day.